apologize in advance. I did lose my voice this week, so you're stuck with this voice for this entire video. I am so sorry. Bear with me. So, welcome to the third episode of my Italy Chronicles. In this one, we leave Rome for Vieste, this beautiful coastal town. Bye, Roma. Till next time. Excited, but also don't want to travel right now. Excited, but what? We said bye to our pretty apartment, then picked up our car to drive to Vieste. We got pastries and coffee on the road and drove for about five hours before arriving at our next Airbnb. So we stayed in the old town, which is so pretty with its all white landscape and ocean views all around the perimeter. Bye. We arrived in late afternoon, so we went out and wandered around the town and went into the city to get groceries for dinner. It was this cute place that sold us olive oil and had the prettiest colorful pasta. A big adjustment for us was eating later in the day. I feel like we all get really hungry relatively early and everyone here eats pretty late. So like at eight o'clock or even later. So we were often picking up snacks before dinner time. We were so tired from our day that we didn't feel like waiting until dinner time to eat so we just prepared our own assortment of dishes we got bread made caprese salad got smoked eggplant my dad got some meat of course a bunch of really yummy things later my dad and i went to watch the sunset or at least the result of it which was this really pretty pink sky and it was really peaceful and really great way to end our long day the next morning i made a matcha and we got ready for the beach we were all really excited to finally get a beach day in and swim for the first time it was such a windy day but it was really nice because it stopped us from sweating like crazy and kept us cool even though we were laying in the most intense sun ever this was really a great day we took in some much needed sun rays and just hung out for the first time since we got to italy Mila and i shared earphones and listened to the best music i heard my favorite song of all time for the first time breeze by Jermango dreaming wrote in our journals and my dad made an Italian friend he threw his football with and swam a bunch in the warm ocean. He was really happy about that. It was really sweet. I would say we were good together. I would say we had fun. So eventually the rain clouds stole the sun away from us, but it was still very pleasant to lay on the beach. There's just something about colder beach days that makes me feel really at peace. We grabbed a quick lunch at the beach restaurant. It's crazy how even the places that aren't that nice, relatively speaking, still have the best food. Everything is just so tasty always. So that really hit the spot. It was like the perfect little beach lunch. Back home, we got ready to go out for dinner. We found this place on the road that led to the historical village that we were staying in called Il Grottino. Pardon my accent. Gloria, please. Go have a meal. Gloria, please. I think this was by far our favorite restaurant of our entire trip. The food was beyond exquisite and the staff were so friendly and all obviously close-knit, which made the dining experience so lovely. We got stuffed mussels, brought up. When we are done, mm -hmm. breaking open, then get back to focaccia. Muscle pasta, eggplant parmesan, whatever. Octopus, everything was to die for. We all were very satisfied. We ended the night just walking around town before heading to bed. Letting go, drifting apart is no use trying to pretend. We had a 
very slow start to the day the next morning. We went for lunch at this random place that ended up being such a fun part of our day. The owner was the funniest man I have ever met and he was so adorable. Very much into his business and proud of his paposhka. I think that's how you say it, which I think is a dish that is from Viesti. I'm not entirely sure. It's a panini type thing, but with pizza dough, very delicious. Then we went for a hike, which Mila and I did not want to do. So my dad bought us ice cream to make us feel better. Mm, us on a hike, healthy. Love it. Mena. It was really pretty though. The trees were super tall, so it kind of looked like we were in this fantasy world, sci-fi world type thing. I don't even know. It was really, really cool. I really liked that part. <laughs> ran into some deer while looking for a trail and got to see them up close without them running away which was really cool because they were enclosed in this area i think it was like a preservation or protection program for them so we got to just contemplate them they're so beautiful they have these big eyes the most mesmerizing creatures i really find them so beautiful as we were contemplating the deer it started to pour so we ran back to the car we got to the car we were all soaked so basically we didn't do the hike so mila and i were very happy Going to the restaurant. At night, we all got ready to go back to Il Grotino because we were obsessed with the place. The sun came out right when we got there, so we ate on the side of the ocean, which was truly amazing. This time we got bruschetta. Of course, more stuffed mussels, which was their specialty. Ojitos, of course. Some potato fish thing, I'm not really sure. This was my dad's dish. Fried squid and some other crustacei. I don't remember how to say that in English. Of course, we got some delicious cake and more mojitos. Mila and I really went ham on the mojitos. It was a fun <laughs> night. <laughs> <laughs> Mila and I stayed to finish our drinks while our parents went off on a walk, which was really fun to have some sister bonding time. When we finished our drinks, we went to the city and wandered. It was really fun. right now gonna go on a little boat tour around the area it's gonna be very fun we rented this boat and had our guide take us out on the ocean and into the many caves they have in the area it was intense he would be driving and we'd be flying up and down like my ass was bruised from this expedition. It was so fun and we were laughing so much the entire time. Caves were mesmerizing and we all felt like we were dreaming, honestly. The water was so blue, it was breathtaking. Our guide was really good with his boat too. He would sauce around the boat, bringing it really close to the rocks without ever glazing them. So that was kind of exhilarating. Holding on for dear life.
stopped to take a swim in this secluded area, which was dreamlike. The water was warm. We would just lay there doing the star, I think it's called. Mila and I did that every time we went in the water. We would just do the star next to each other and just daydream and kind of nap on the water. It was our favorite thing. <laughs> After our dip, we had our pasta we picked up before. So we all got pesto, mozzarella, orecchiette, which was so good. And then that same day, we drove all the way to Lecce. We spent the most amazing week in Lecce, so I can't wait to share that with you all. Mm -hmm.